All right, the next couple of problems are going to be a little bit more challenging because we're going to have units in the numerator and the denominator. But we're going to follow the same process. You're going to write down your given, and then you're going to drop and walk to your answer. But it's just that in your given, you're going to have a numerator and a denominator. It's not going to be your given over 1. It's going to be um, slightly different. So let's look at this. In this problem, it says, after determining your ecological footprint, you discovered that your energy consumption is very high. Your family uses 6,896,551 BTUs of electrical power per month. Per means slash, so that's this divided by month. How much was your electric bill? So there is my given, and these are my conversions. All right, so I'm going to put this in number one of the setup. So my given is 6,896,551 BTUs per month. Okay. Now, I don't want BTUs. I want kilowatt hour. I want dollars, right? So if you look at the problem, it says... Um, how much was your electric bill, which basically means I want dollars. But if you look at my conversions, I can go from BTU to kilowatt, but I do not have BTU to dollars, do I? So I'm going to have to go BTU to kilowatt and then kilowatt to dollars. So that's how I'm going to do it. You drop, so I'm going to drop this, right? We're here. And I say, can I go from BTU to dollars directly? I can't. I don't have that conversion. But I can go from BTU to kilowatt hour. One of these is 0 0.0029 of those. And then I can drop my kilowatt hour and go to dollar. And one kilowatt hour is 16 cents. I put all of that in there and I get $320 per month. Box my answer. The next one's a little bit harder. It's got a lot of stuff in here, and we're going to start addressing the issue of efficiency. So efficiency means if I'm 100% efficient, then every single bit of energy I, or fuel I put into a an, an, uh, washer or anything gives me what I want. It gives me electricity. But we know that nothing is 100% efficient. I generally have to give an appliance more electrical energy than it needs to refrigerate because it's going to lose some of it in heat. So that's what we're dealing with here. It says one rubber tire can generate about 250,000 BTUs. And there's your conversion from BTU to kilowatt hour. Obviously, we're going to need that when it is burned. The average American home consumes 10,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. I look at that as my given. How many tires would be needed to meet the annual electricity demand of 10 homes for one year? So that's important. We want 10 homes for one year. Many students will work it out for one home and forget to do 10 homes. And um, if the production of electricity from tires is 50% efficient. That means that no matter what I do, I've got to put in double because I'm only going to get half back, right? So the way that I would do this one is I would say my given is 10,000 kilowatt hours per home per year. Remember that per means line, month, per home, per year, okay? Per means that you put a fraction there. Okay. Now, I don't want kilowatt hours. I want tires, so I'm going to walk. Now, I don't have a conversion, which takes me to kilowatt hours. Um, let's look at the problem again. I don't have one that takes me from kilowatt hours to tires, but I can walk through that, through the BTU, uh, through the BTU. So let's do that. So I'm going to drop my kilowatt hour. And I'm going to go to BTU. 
Um, 3 times 10 to the minus 4 kilowatt hour is 1 BTU. And then I know how from BTU I can get to tire. So BTU to tires, I can say it's 250,000 BTU for one tire. And I've got to multiply all of this by 10 because it's 10 homes. So that gives me 1,333 tires. But 50% efficient, so I'm only getting half back. I've got to put in another half or multiply this by 2 to get 100% efficiency. That tires. I've got to burn more tires because I'm losing half of it to heat or something else. I'm only getting half as efficient electrical energy.